everybody, it's Lisa Burningham, and I'm so glad that you're here with me. Today we're gonna to be transforming our foyer from a coastal beach themed setting to a fall harvest welcoming foyer. And what I'm gonna be using are these beautiful mercury glass pumpkins, some tall glass candlesticks, and of course the sign that we made last week. So let's get started. Celebrate the beauty of fall by swapping out your summer decor and decorating your home with pieces that evoke a cozy, warm, and welcoming harvest feeling. Here on my channel, I share all things that deal with home and family. So I do DIYs, home decor, party ideas, and holiday entertaining. So if that's something that you're interested in, then I would love for you to subscribe and join me. Today I'm participating in the Fall Farmhouse Decorate With Me. Now this is such a fun collaboration, it's where you take a room in your home and you transition it to fall. Now this is put on by Heidi from Happily Thriving Heidi and also Lindsay from Domer Home. Now they both have amazing channels, they do DIYs on a budget. I will leave a link to their channel down below in the description box as well as a link to the playlist. It's time to say goodbye to summer and hello to fall. So I'm going to clear away my coastal inspired decor so I can start with a blank slate to transition my foyer into a cozy, warm and inviting space. The first thing we're gonna do is hang up our sign. I got this sign from Michael's and it was just a plain wooden sign. And what I did was I added the little chalkboards on it and then I can write whatever message that I want. In this case, it's autumn. And I'm gonna hang up this sign first, because if I don't hang up the sign first and I do it later, there's a possibility that I could knock some of the decor off of my table and that would make me very sad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on up first and then it will be out of the way and set and ready to go. I'm gonna hang up my sign with these suction cups. I got these at the Dollar Tree and these are so convenient to use. All you have to do is just attach it to my mirror in this case. And it's really nice because then I don't have to worry about nailing any holes into the walls or putting some tape on it that could possibly take off some paint later on. And then these just come right off when you're done with your signs or your decor. I got a package of these crystal balls and these fall leaves at Tuesday morning. They are such a perfect touch for my banner and then I'm also gonna use them on my candlesticks. They just bring in a little bit of extra sparkle and all I did was I added them to a fishing line. That way they just kind of dangle and you can't really see what's holding them all together. And so it just looks like a bunch of fall leaves and crystals hanging down. The first thing that I'm going to add to my table is this beautiful fall runner with these lovely shimmery leaves. There are so many options when it comes to table coverings for this harvest season. You could use some knitted blankets, you could use a piece of faux fur, some burlap, or even a thick chunky scarf would be a beautiful runner. If you recognize the sign display stand, it's because I made it last week. And I made it with just things that I had around the house. Now this is a perfect way to display signs and signs are such an easy way to bring in a theme because it just says it right on there. And they're affordable as well because the Dollar Tree has so many great options. So signs are a great way to decorate for fall. On the other end of my table, I'm going to be using these beautiful amber glass vases. I got these at Home Goods a few years ago. However, I'm not gonna be using them as a vase. I'm gonna be flipping them over and I'm gonna be using them as a candlestick. Because the bottom is flat, it's a perfect spot for me to put my candle right on top. Now, if I were to leave my candlesticks just straight across, that's pretty boring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one of the candlesticks to the top of this box. Now, adding the variation in height gives it a lot more interest and it makes it look much more unique. Now this is one chunk of a candle. So in order to kind of break up all of this cream colored wax, I'm going to use some ribbon. Now this ribbon is the same ribbon that I used in my display over here, so it will coordinate to this side as well. And then I also use these cute little gems that I used up in my sign. I wrapped the ribbon around the center of the candle and tied it into a tight knot. 
Next, I made my bows by looping, twisting, and looping again until I had three loops. Then I took a six inch piece of floral wire and wrapped it around my bow loops. Then I turned it over and twisted the wire tightly together to secure. Next, I tied my fishing line onto the ribbon around my candle. I attached two lines of crystals, one on either side of the knot. Finally, I slid the wire behind the ribbon on the candle and then twisted the wires together to securely attach my bow. The bows and crystals transform this boring cream candle into a beautiful decorative fall showstopper. Clearance is one of my all time favorite words and Target really knows how to clear out. Last fall, I got these pumpkins for 20 cents a piece and these beautiful wood leaves, they were originally $3. I think I got them for like 50 cents. So I got a ton of them. Shopping off season is a great way to save money. Also last week, I got this beautiful brass tray at Target and it was also on clearance and it was only $8.98. So when you're out shopping, don't skip the clearance aisle. I'm gonna place my beautiful brass tray in the center of my tablescape and I'm gonna put it on top of this box. Now the reason why I'm gonna raise it up a little bit is because I'm gonna put some little mini lights that I got at the Dollar Tree underneath along with some fall leaves. Adding the lights bring in a warm ambiance to the decor, and the additional fall leaves that surround our brass tray add extra fullness, color, and interest to our autumn display. I'm going to add this cake stand to my brass tray. Now, I love bringing in different colors and textures into my display. It's also going to help with some extra height variation because I'm going to place my pumpkins on top. I got this pumpkin and this pumpkin at Home Goods. And then I also got this pumpkin at Tuesday morning. They were all under $16 a piece, so it was pretty affordable. And I love using these mercury glass pumpkins because the glass is so beautiful and it has this really gold iridescent shimmer that adds such a nice detail. Now that everything is in place, the finishing touch is just to add these cute little pumpkins and leaves. And then I'm gonna fill in any vacant spaces with some coordinating fall leaves. Now our tabletop decor is all set and ready for fall. I have a few final bits of advice for you. There are a few things that really help me when I am designing a tablescape. And one of them is to make sure that you have groups of odd numbers, three, five, seven. They seem to be a little more natural that way. Also, I use a U shape. I have it up in my banner and then my entire table is kind of like a U and then my pumpkins are a U so they mimic each other. So using the same shapes is a really great way to design. And then the last bit of advice I have is to use the variations in heights because it just brings in so much more interest and it makes your piece unique and special. Hope you enjoyed this fall foyer transformation and I hope you got some ideas of how you can decorate your home for fall. Speaking of the seasons, I've got a lot of fun upcoming projects that I would love to share with you, so don't forget to subscribe. Fall is a vibrant time of year and by changing our decor to fit the changing seasons, we can bring that fall feeling into our homes. If you're looking for other fall decor, I've got some ideas for you and as always, thank you so much for watching.